Next is about the neural control of respiration. That is about respiratory centers and respiratory rhythm. Breathing mechanism control in alkarana respiratory centers. Respiratory centers are located in the medulla oblongata and pons verola. So, breathing in the summer, the respiratory centers are impulses in the respiratory muscles contraction and relaxation. That is breathing. In human beings, there are two sets of respiratory centers, namely medullary centers or medullary rhythmicity area and pontine centers. Medulla oblongata located in the center of the medullary rhythmicity area or medullary center. In the pons veroli, the pontine centers are located in the center. Medullary centers are two and they are inspiratory center or dorsal respiratory center and expiratory center or ventral respiratory center. Pontine centers are two and two and they are Pneumotaxic area and apneustic area. Pneumotaxic center is inhibitory in function and all other centers are excitatory. Next about inspiration. Inspiration is where we are going to Oxygen level of blood is going Carbon dioxide level is going to be in inspiration. And this oxygen carbon dioxide level is the difference. Chemoreceptors perceive you. And they transform the stimuli into sensory impulses. Then these sensory impulses are inspiratory area like transmit through sensory neurons. So sensory neuron worry, sensory impulses are inspiratory center lethic ball, inspiratory center gets stimulated and it generates motor impulses. And these motor impulses are transmitted to the inspiratory muscles. On receiving those signals, the inspiratory muscles contract, leading to the expansion of thoracic cavity and the dilation of lungs. This brings about inspiration. Inspiration kainya are involved, inspiratory muscles become inactive and the whole cycle of events goes on repeating over and again. Next about expiration. Inspiration kind of lungs are dilated condition in equarium. Upper on expiration not a another. condition la blood dealer oxygen level high in carbon dioxide level of And this condition is perceived by stretch receptors and they transform the stimuli into sensory impulses. Then these sensory impulses are transmitted to the expiratory center. Along the vagus nerve. Vagus nerves are 10th cranial nerve. So, vagus nerve very sensory impulses are expiratory center. Let the expiratory center gets excited. Expiratory center inhibitory signals are to inhibit inspiratory center. Angana expiratory center in the inhibitory signals are inspiratory center in inhibitory. And this inhibition leads to the relaxation of inspiratory muscles, the compression of thoracic cavity and the lungs and the consequent expiration. And about normal quiet breathing, normal quiet breathing in a sametha, that is the expiration in a sametha, inspiratory centers are inactive. So, it will cause the relaxation of inspiratory muscles and carry out normal expiration. And inspiration is the inspiratory centers are active and it causes the inspiratory muscles to contract and carry out normal inspiration. So inspiratory center inspiration is the active arikyum. expiration is the inactive arikyum. Then forced breathing the sametha, forced inspiration angel, inspiratory center activated aita, ella inspiratory muscles contract him, and it will lead to forced inspiration. Then forced expiration angel, active aita inspiratory center, chenata expiratory centers activate 
and it causes the contraction of internal intercostal and abdominal muscles and leads to forced expiration. Pneumotaxic centers in a inspiratory and apneustic centers in a periodically check in the function on all other. Pneumotaxic center in the signals are strong and angle. Inspiration is short living. That is 0.5 seconds. Inspiration is And the lungs are only partially filled. Pneumotaxis centers in the signals are strong. Inspiration becomes short living. And the lungs are only partially filled. But Pneumotaxis centers in the signals are weak. Inspiration becomes long lasting. Or 5 seconds where inspiration long aim. And the lungs get completely filled so in effect strong pneumotaxis signals shorten inspiration and expiration and thereby increases the breathing rate on the other hand weak signals prolong inspiration and expiration and thereby lower the breathing rate pneumotaxic center the near opposite function on apneustic center chain Apneustic center inspiratory centers like an impulses send in apneustic center in the signals inspiratory center activate the thereby prolong inspiration and inhibit expiration. Respiratory centers in a cerebral cortex site chella connections under e connections all the gondana or alka voluntarily ayal the pattern of breathing change in at the Correction area take breathing stop and at the respiratory centers in a cerebral cortex at a connection all the way. So, any other person ability voluntarily ayal breathing pattern alter and at capacity. That is voluntary control. Voluntary control is a protective mechanism because it prevents the entry of water, irritating gases, etc., into the lungs. One part of the time, we breathing stop in it because our time, we have blood level carbon dioxide level of cool air. So, one certain limit in upper carbon dioxide and partial pressure coronary air involved. It will stimulate the inspiratory center and impulses will be sent to the inspiratory muscles and the breathing will receive. This is all about the neural control of respiration.